Hi everyone, welcome to Crafting Carnivores. I'm Hyla and I guess this is going to be a monthly vlog because I haven't vlogged in three, almost four weeks and I have <laughs> minimal excuses for that. Uh, so I have, I did make a list, Hope should be proud. So I don't forget anything and hopefully this won't go on too long. So let me tell you about May. Um, so I did have some challenges. I did a steps challenge with Derek's, uh, uh, Jer Derek's journey? Derek's, I can't remember. I think it's Derek's journey. I have to look at it. <laughs> um, so anyway, I did a steps challenge and, and I challenged myself to jog three times a week at least. And I, um, have done well with both of those. I have jogged at least three times a week, if not five even when I was not feeling good. So some days it may have only been 10 minutes of jogging and then a, a maximum of 40 minutes. So um, yeah, whatever. I don't really do the mileage, more do the time. And I'm a slow jogger, so. But I also did a lot of walking in there, walk almost every day, purpose, purposeful walking. Um, I would allow myself one day a week that I didn't do any purposeful exercising, just moving around the house, so you'll see those days. I did screenshot the last, pretty much the whole month of May from my Fitbit. Speaking of Fitbits, look what I got for Mother's Day. I got a new one. So my other one was on its last leg. It was several years old, and it just did steps. So this does a lot more. I'm really excited. I'm having fun with it. Um, I also did for May, the No Way May with Dawn Does Keto, and I did, I weighed myself May 1st, and then I didn't weigh again until June 1st, which is yesterday, and I wish I had just left it. I left it alone and kept it up because I gained six pounds, 0.2 from six pounds in the month of May, six pounds. There's something else I just went over. So yeah, I wish I had just left that scale alone. So let's talk about some of the things that may have caused that. Um, I know exercising can cause that. Another thing is I've been, um, you know, my vitamin D has been low. So I have been going outside several times, not every day, but most days, you know, there may have been a rainy day or a day I didn't feel like I've, uh, let me stop and talk about another issue. I was feeling really good at the beginning of May and even like towards the middle of May. I even cleaned out my closet really well and I videoed that, but I haven't done it, done edited it or anything yet and worked on the bedroom. I've worked on some other areas of the house, but I really did a good cleaning and cleaned out of my closet. So I was feeling really good that week and I had all this energy and I was thinking to myself, I'm so glad I'm over all this sinus and allergy stuff. <laughs> Spoke too soon. So last week was really, really bad. Um, I had a headache every day last week. Like I'm not joking, like seven days in a row. And Thursday, it was like migraine level and it lasted all day. You know, it was like some parts of Thursday, it was tolerable. And then other parts, it was just insanely horrible. Um, still getting some headaches. Uh, woke up with one today, woke up with one yesterday, but they're tolerable. They're, you know, they're just irritating. It's not to the point where you have to go lay down in a dark room or anything like that. So yeah, I've been taking a lot of sinus, med sinus and allergy medicine. So there's some medicines I've been taking. Um, so back to my vitamin D, I've been trying to go outside several times a day. I don't go out for a long periods of time, but I go out with the dogs. I go out with the dogs and play with the dogs with the ball in the sun. I've worked in the flower bed a little bit. I haven't, like I said last week, um, I don't know if I did a, it seems like I went out there once last week. So just as my husband's bringing more mulch, we're working on the flower bed, but it's been a, several days, if not a week, since we've done that. I'm looking at it. It's right there. Um, which I didn't have that on here. So I've been going outside several times. I even go, I, I've got a book, like a real book, not a <laughs> not an e-reader or anything that I take outside and read a few pages or a chapter and sit in the sun. The only problem is, and it's an issue I've had for many years, um, since sometime in my 20s, I started breaking out whenever I'm out in the sun. Not only do I burn easily, but now I break out. And I was hoping that the diet changes would help with that, and maybe over time it will, because I know it's it, we're just going on a year. But I have this patch on my wrist, 
I'll go ahead and show you. I do have some stuff on it, so it's not real noticeable. But, um, and it's really, like right now it looks really good. But if I go out in the sun for more than a couple of minutes, when I come in, it's going to be bright red and inflamed. And then on the back of my neck too, which it's all cleared up right now. But if I stay out there, it will get irritated. And I'm also using, um, I switched to uh, grass-fed beef tallow for moisturizer. And it does work so much better. My skin is so, so dry and it's really helped like all day long, last all day long. Um, but I was also help, hoping that it would help with this stuff too because I've read a lot of people uh, saying that using that has helped them a lot. So I'm hoping that that will help too. It hasn't yet. But um, I am going to see the doctor, not next week, but the week after, to talk about the menopausal issues, if, if that's what I'm going through, and also the skin. See if, I don't know if I need to take something for that or... Because it's annoying if you can't go out in the sun for more than a couple of minutes and come in and, and itchy and, and inflamed. And and then sometimes when I come in, like if I, especially if I was out there for like 10 minutes or more, and come in feeling like inflamed all over, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. So, um, so just a little, trying to get out there a little bits at a time to get some sun, some vitamin D, but then there's the <laughs> effect of that. So... We'll see. Okay. Now, also on, let's talk about food. So at the beginning of the month, um, I was OMAD quite a bit. If I wasn't OMAD, then I was eating in a very small window. And it just kind of happened naturally. But then sometime in mid-May, it may not even have been quite mid, um, all of a sudden, I was hungry all the time. I wanted food all the time. I was either hungry or just wanting something all the time. And it, it could have been early, you know, usually I don't eat till afternoon. Like today's 1 I haven't eaten yet. But I'm talking like even eight o'clock at night and I don't do that. I was usually quitting the latest six o'clock. And I mean, it was just insane and binging chalk zero chocolate and just all kinds of crap. Nothing, not keto, approved or whatever you want to call it but if you're eating a whole bunch of chocolate zero chocolate that's not good either I know that but and I was like what is going on my hormones were all over the place and then I was like oh it's got to be the menopausal if that's what it is if I'm at the beginning of that or something it's got to be that it lasted like a good two weeks like just crazy town it felt like and and I, you know, was like, maybe I should fast. But then I would, that's all I would think about was food. Trying to fast purposely just drives me insane. It just messes with my head. And then I feel like a failure and it just makes it worse. So I was just like, okay, I need to stop doing that. I need to stop putting pressure on myself because the more pressure I put on myself to do things perfectly, the more I screw up and then I'm giving myself a hard time. Iced coffee. So I am fasting, but I'm having iced coffee. It's my second one today. So I'm not fasting, fasting. I know that. Please don't give me a hard time telling me that I'm not truly fasting. I know. I'm not having any food. How about that? I'm having iced coffee with a teaspoon of heavy whipping cream. Okay. Doesn't have anything else in it besides daily minerals. And No, it has a sweetener. I'm sorry. It does have the vanilla cream drops in it. So, and it was about this full when I got it. So right now, when I'm fasting, I need something like that, or Celsius that's diluted down. That's just where I'm at right now. So I can't truly do like a water fast yet. I'm sure I'll get there one day. I'm not gonna put that pressure on myself. So, last week I did do a 24 hour fast and it came natural. Uh, I think I got about 20 hours and I sort of you know, I was hungry and I wanted to eat. and I, So I pushed myself that last four hours and that last four hours were rough. But I want to I want to slowly kind of push myself, but not push myself to like, okay, you're going to do 36 hours today. You know, or for the next 36 hours, you're not going to eat. You know, because that just puts too much pressure. So I want to try and do it naturally and then just keep kind of pushing myself a little bits at a time, like baby steps. I think uh, Shelly said to me baby steps. So today, I'm actually over 24 hours, except for the coffee, like I said. Right now when I fast, I'm not 
including drinks into my fast, if that makes sense. I'm talking about food. So, like I said, baby steps. It makes me feel good, like I've done an accomplishment. I really want it for the gut health and for mental clarity and all that stuff, but I'm gonna have to work up to it. Just because other people can do it doesn't mean that I can do it right now. The people that have been doing keto and carnivore for years, and there's some new people that can do it. Good for them, I can't. Okay, so today I went to the doctor and I got a steroid injection, which steroids are probably gonna make me inflamed too, but my shoulder's been bothering me for months. It's not getting any better. It was like uh, something did happen. It felt like a tearing and sensation, but my x-rays were good, that's good. So he gave me an injection. Right now it aches like crazy, because you know it's gonna take a while for that to get in there, but I had limited mobility in this arm and it was just a lot of pain, so. Hopefully that'll help and won't cause me too many problems. I never like taking like oral steroids. My face will get bright red and like really swollen. So I'm hoping the injection doesn't have that same effect, but I am hoping that it does help my shoulder. Sleep. Sleep is another factor. I've not been sleeping good. I was sleeping really good, but part of that is because we had a, a sick dog, our old dog, I call her our old dog, our little dog, um, who we had for over 11 years. And she was a full adult when we got her. We lost her on Tuesday, and that was very difficult. But she has her health has been declining for the last year, and but she was still like acting young and and carefree and eating good and all that. Every once in a while, she would get sick to her stomach and stuff, um, and it was always in the middle of the night. I don't know why. And even you know here recently, and it started happening a little bit more and more. But the, the past week and a half, really, like you could just tell she was getting more and more sick. And we've been preparing for losing her, but it was still hard. But all weekend, she was really, really sick. And it was it was awful. So I didn't get very much sleep at all. And even now, like, I'm still, like, waking up thinking I hear her or something. So it's going to take me a little while. So the sleep has not been great. I'm having trouble even going to sleep. Like, I can't shut down my mind. I've been taking magnesium before I go to bed. I actually switched to a different magnesium. And I don't know if it's not working as well or if it's just so much going on in my head. So I'm dealing with that. So maybe I'll, I don't know if I'll switch back and forth with magnesium. I don't know. So that looks like I went over everything that we have went through. Um, yeah, so I don't even want to get on the scale anymore. Uh, oh, um, I did do on... I think it was Wednesday, I did like a high protein, lower fat day. I know for Alan, he, he talks about doing that a couple times a week. Like he's done it a couple of times in the past few years. And not all, he's just not something he does all the time. You can go watch his channel. Alan's an awesome keto world. And you know, when he needs to get the weight loss going again, he says something that works for him. So I did do that Wednesday. The thing I didn't like about it was, um, I felt like I was hungry all the time. Like the food wouldn't satiate me for very long and I was eating. So I ate several times that day and I, I don't know if that's really going to help me or not. Um, and then I ended up eating some fat bombs at the end of the day. So I don't know if I totally screwed that up or not. And I ate so much chicken and fish and, and shrimp with limited fat. You know, I had some fat, but you know, I was trying to keep it down. So I don't know if that's going to help or not. But like I said, today, I ate one meal yesterday, and um, it was it was at one o'clock, and so it's like twelve forty-five. One so one o'clock when I finished eating probably, and then I had some homemade fat bombs after that. I've been still like wanting something kind of sweet, and I made a bunch of fat bombs, and they're not even sweet, but they look sweet. They look like chocolate. They've got um, they do have some cocoa powder, and they do have. Um, chocolate collagen powder in it, which is the only thing that's got any sweetener in it. Well, it's got peanut butter powder, and I think there might be a little bit of sugar in that. I don't know. I can't remember, but, um, and it makes like 12 of them or something, or eight. I don't remember. Eight, 12? I don't remember. Anyway, they're less than a carb each, but they're really good, but, um, they just look like candy or something, so when I'm craving that something sweet, I eat that, and like I said, they're not even sweet. They just satisfy that need for something sweet and they're really easy to make and and not like I said they're really they're low on carb and everything so 
I'm happy with that. And the reason why they're even almost a carb is because the chocolate collagen powder that I use is four carbs per serving. So that kind of kicked it up. Um, I did switch to another, back to my old chocolate collagen powder, which only has two carbs per serving. So I'll, next time I make them, I'll probably make them with that, and so they'll be even less carb than that. I do want to make a video on collagen powders because I have tried like four different ones and just to go over the ingredients and and how how many collagen peptides and all that stuff that they have in it. That's a video I want to do pretty soon. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I have been, you know, I haven't done a vlog in a while, but I have been putting up some videos, but I have not been on YouTube as much lately. So if you haven't seen me in your comments lately, it's not because I'm picking on you. <laughs> I'm just really behind. And like I said, last week I had a headache all week long. So I, I watched a few lives when I was feeling decent and a couple of videos here and there, but I'm really behind on everybody's videos and stuff. I did get to watch a couple of videos earlier this week, but um, not very many. So I'm way behind on everybody's videos. I'm going to try and at least, I don't know if I can watch all the old ones, but some I do want to watch. So if I missed your live or your videos, I'm sorry. That's it. Oh, and I want to say um, have fun, all the people that are going on the, the low-carb cruise. I hope you guys have a wonderful time. They're probably not going to see this vlog because they're going to be having a good time. <laughs> and I hope they do. I hope they're enjoying each other and not on YouTube and, and watching videos and, and worrying about their channels and stuff. I hope they just take a break and have fun and do some recording and then show us when they get back. And those of you that aren't going on the low carb cruise like me, I'm here. I'm around. If you want to comment, you can email me and, um, yeah, we can chat. So I would love to do a live this week while everybody's gone. I'm not going to guarantee it because it depends on how I feel next week. We also have a week from tomorrow. We have a family reunion. So kind of be getting ready for that. Um, that'll be like an all day thing on Saturday. I'm excited about that. I do want to take some kind of low-carb, sugar-free dessert. I did mess around with some keto chow and, and like a no-bake cheesecake, just something I made really quick. It turned out okay. It wasn't great, great, but it wasn't bad either. It was just really thick. That was the only thing. And I did record that. I may upload that. I don't know. If you guys have any ideas of anything, like a quick keto dessert. I don't want anything that I have to do a bunch of ingredients. This had like three or four ingredients. So that's what I'm looking for. So very simple because there are some, I don't know that there's anyone else at the reunion that's gonna be keto, but I do know for sure there are some diabetics that come to the reunion and it would be great to have something that they could have, like a dessert that they could have. Because not a lot of people think about them. And there's always a bunch of desserts, like sugary desserts. So even if I get tempted, I'd like to have something too. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Um, it seems like every time I try to search a dessert, it's got like 15, 20 ingredients and stuff that I've never heard of. I'm not looking for that. I want something easy and quick and possibly even something I don't have to bake. So, because it's hot and I'm in Texas and I hate turning on the oven, even though I'm probably fixing to make me some bacon. Okay, so that is it. I hope y'all are having a wonderful week, and I hope you have a wonderful June. Don't forget to comment, please. Um, look in the description code. I or description code. Look in the description because I do have discount codes for products, and I need to put the Javi one in there. I just realized that if you haven't seen my quick Javi um, videos, they sent me a bottle uh, to try. Thinking so much Javi. I'm not going to drink it. I don't know what I'm going to do with all that, that crazy cups coffee because I am addicted. Love it. First of all, I love iced coffee anyway. Every once in a while I want a hot coffee, so I'll probably use my other. I had three yesterday. I usually only drink one cup of coffee a day. And not even that because of the heartburn. I had three yesterday. I've had two today. I had one the day before, maybe one the day before that not any kind of sign of heartburn either, which is amazing. They use regenerative farming with the farmers that they, um, that they get their coffee from, which is awesome. And so I am all on board. It is like, uh, there's a discount code and a link. If you look at those videos and you save 20% and then I also 
uh, I do get a commission off that if you guys uh, order from them, which is awesome. I mean, it's another way for us YouTubers to make a little, mo little bit of money, so I'm appreciative of that. So go check them out. Look at my description. Comment. Please be kind with your comments. Be kind. Happy eating, everyone. I hope you all have a wonderful week, a wonderful, week, a wonderful weekend. I hope all the people that go on the cruise stay safe and have a wonderful, wonderful time and visit with each other. Sending hugs y'all's way. I wish we could be there. Those of us that can't be there wish we could. We're not. That's okay. Uh, we're still here for each other. So I am signing off now. That's it for today. Thanks, guys. Bye. Double wave.